Today on the Railway Focus, we're going to talk about Line 10 Express Service. Let's go! Hey, how's it going? I'm chuffed to receive you all here one more time. I'm Wesley from Sao Paulo City, Brazil, and this is the Railway Focus. If my purpose on creating a YouTube channel for practicing English as a second language and encouraging other Brazilians to do so is relevant for you, then please consider subscribing, clicking on the red button and on the thumbs up. These simple actions help me a lot. Cheers! How I am acquiring English as my second language? Since the middle of 2019, I've been creating texts and routes to explain and tell about general public transportation subjects, themes and technical contents. Recently, I wrote a text about a semi-express train service running on Line 10 here in Sao Paulo metropolitan area and I'd like to share with you. On today's Railway Focus video, I'm going to show you some tapes and talk about a CPTM semi-express train service that in regular days has been done different on Line 10 demand. Yes, the focus is on the CPTM Line 10 Express. I hope you like it. Take a gander. Hunting for an efficient service, CPTM looks for work strategies for transporting commuters in rush hours, being the nowadays looping operation and the same express service. Looping work is a strategy that gets more trained where there's more demand. The same express service is a looping walk but attends fewer stations than a common or a partial service does, getting a rapid service in a piece of the stretch. Due to the engineering limitations, the bulk CPTM trainways work by looping scheme on rush hours, just one line operating by a semi express service. There are looping services in Line 8 from Julio Prestes Station until Carapicuiba or Baduri stations. Line 9 and Mount Pinheiros and Juruba tube stations. From Brás to Mauá stations in Line 10. From Luz to Guaranazi stations in Line 11. and from Brás to Engenheiro Manuel Feio stations in Line 12. Nowadays, there is just one same express service and Line 10 Express is our today's focus.
Lantern Express is a semi express train service that goes at rush hours at Lantern Turquoise, calling at San Pedro, San Quentin do Sul, and Tamandote stations, being the last already in Sao Paulo City. In the morning from 6 hours until 9.30, the service gets commuters from Santo André to Tamandotei. In the afternoon from 4.30 p.m. until late hours, the service runs oppositely carrying commuters from Tamandotei to Santo André, departing from the extremes every 30 minutes. Since 2016, when this service had worked, Siemens EMU 3000 series runs the way. In my personal opinion, the right train for the service, with rare appearances of other train series. On regular days, Lantern Express was carrying an average of about 20,000 passengers daily. Due to the present sanitary circumstances in 2020 and 2021, the demand dropped by around 1,500 passengers per day. Nowadays, Lantern Express is called off due to lack of demand. Thanks to the third way in part of Line 10, Lantern Express runs without interfering on Line 10 regular way trains, being the lateral tracks belonging to the communal route and their center one serving for freight trains in line 10 express service. Also, there was a night service called the Education Express, working at the sunset rush hour from 10 to 11 hours, carrying passengers just from Tamandote to St. Andre stations. By the way, on Saturdays, there was another semi-express route named Line 10 Plus Express. Departing from St. Andre to Lustran station in the mornings at 7, 8 and 9 hours, and making the opposite way at 12, 1 and 2 hours, Line 10 Plus made just 21 minutes between São Paulo city center and the ABC city, attending São Caetano do Sul and Tamandote stations yet. Considering the infrastructure barriers in the respective demand, services as Line 10 Express are crucial for a good flow on railway procedures, guaranteeing a comfortable, safe and a rapid trip for passengers for the more productive achievement. And how the trouble is infrastructure, we need to evaluate how a half work can impact on the service.
This commuter semi-express service could be better and attend the demand bigger than the no pandemic days. Line 10 Express would work by different logistic than today, with new infrastructure allowing effectivity on Line 10 and its semi-express services. How states like to economize public money, as you already were able to notice, Line 10 Express original project served some adjustments. In 2014, São Paulo former governor Geraldo Alckmin announced the new semi-express service attending Line 10 stretch, but the service beginning in Mauá and running my own tracks formed by two vias, resuming an electoral promise. Unfortunately, in 2015 he had given up this project as the original one having created the current service in 2016 without building into expanding growing up the infrastructure and the route having to abide by restrictions of the current paths. After all, Line Express exists, but nowadays called off, reaffirming the situation in 2020 and 2021, and fulfills the purpose, not at the ideal circumstances, performing in a double isolated via departing from Awa, but before the nowadays sanitary emergency, works and helps the partial Line 10 route critical demand. According to CPTM, both of semi express services keep cooled off until the end of the sanitary barrier and things come down. Online 10 nowadays is just walking the common route between Brás and Rio Grande da Serra stations and their respective looping between Brás and Mauai stations. If you watched until here, cheers a lot. This motivates me a lot to keep going. Please, don't forget to subscribe and click on thumbs up if I deserve it. I want to encourage more Brazilian people to reach the fluence in English. My special today thanks is to my friend Thiago Jin that reviewed the route and the respective datas. Cheers Jin, God bless your life forever. See you on the next video. Bye and stay safe.